and welcome back to Sonic Generations with me, Matthew Caddies, aka Poogie. So, the last level in the uh, Dreamcast era, yes, I'm still saying that, will be, uh, of course, um, Seaside Hill. Yes, the first level from Sonic Heroes, and, well, I will give the classic thing this. It does feature a lot of underwater sections, which were not in the original on... Even in the original, because, to be honest, the team mechanic didn't really explore that. I would have actually liked for that to happen. Um, and also, to be fair to Classic Sonic, he actually moves his quickest underwater. Seriously. Which is weird, because in the Classic games, he did not. He actually slowed down a bit. Again, there is the athleticism, which I do think I have on Sonic, which probably helps with him moving underwater, because, of course, just like with the classic Sonic games, um, Sonic can um, lose his air and pretty much die. Or drown, at least, should I say. So, yeah. Um, the other annoyance are the Chompers and the Egg Robots. Which, yeah, the choppers do return. Uh, so, yeah. Um, there is also, I believe, another red ring around here, which requires you to actually jump on the... Um, I don't know if it's the block. Yeah, the blocks um, before you cave in. And so, yeah. I'm not going for said red ring, of course. So, yeah. Um, there is one also where you have to jump on a chopper's head in order to uh, get a boost up to a cannon and get it that way, so yeah. But other than that, yeah. This is probably the weakest classic remix in the game, in my opinion. Probably because this is just a straight up cover. The classic, the only difference is the, um, um, difference is, I guess it's done by Richard Shark, which I think is his only contribution to the classic, but not in, in the whole game, of course, because he did contribute uh, to Super Sonic Racing and the Sonic 3D Blast theme that does still appear in the game, but um, other than that, yeah, this may well... Oh, and also, um, did I say the remix for the um, upcoming, uh, I think, boss for the third era that is represented. Anyway, that being said, let's go over here. And wait for this uh, spinner to actually turn off his shield and then we can go on here. Um, we can get dragged down, even further down, should I say, to an underwater section. Which does happen. It does, yes. Uh, do I want to? Yeah, I do. You know me. Uh, more 3D, it seems! Yes! And, um, and then there's this um, part where... It takes us even further down to an underwater section. In this one, this one kind of mirrors, uh, dare I say, both Hydro City and, believe it or not, um, uh, Labyrinth Zone because we are, are holding onto poles. Unfortunately, the death, death of those spikes does get rather annoying here because the way they work, Sonic just gets stuck on them and. Pretty much so as a combo death of losing rings. If this were a classic game, I swear he would not have done that. He would have um, lost the ring, sure. But then he would just be allowed to continue on. But no, uh, game says no, it seems, because of that. Oh, I'm even going for the red ring there. So yeah, keep in mind that the poles do crumble after a while. Seriously, they do. So yeah, which... It's not the case originally in the uh, likes of either Labyrinth Zone or Hydro City Zone. So yeah, um, in those levels, um, it will break as soon as you press the A button. Not due to weathering or anything like that, so yeah. I'm going to have to wait uh, for that one to come down. Don't care much about the red rings, so yeah. Um, I don't care if I'm facing the wrong way. Um, Physics be damned, I say. Physics be damned. Anyway, over here we have some, um, the rolling boulder sections. 
Seriously, it's weird seeing it in uh, 2D at least, but uh, we'll get to the modern, um, should I say, Act 2 in a moment. And like with Sky Sanctuary, uh, there is a segment where you will get a, um, a giant loop de loop where you will have to um, do this level like three times just to get each of the red rings over here. Seriously. Because, yeah, including that one in the middle. Very annoying, but I'm not going for the red ring, so there you go. So with that, we will go on to, um, um, dare I even say it? Um, the next one, I guess, which is, um, quite possibly, um, one of my least favorite. Well, no, no, this is one of my favorites. I didn't like, um... Seaside Hill Act 1 that much. Um, but Act 2 does, um, in fact, add some things, as we will see. Because, um, firstly, it incorporates the melody from um, Ocean Palace, which is a nice addition, if you ask me, because it certainly um, um, it's kind of missed from the thing. I'm, was a whole instrumental section that was supposedly in the original track for Seaside Hill, which is not in either version, but um, I'm glad at least Jun Sonoi did put it in uh, this version. So yeah, um, other than that, um, I probably want to go up here. Um, and that being said, uh, yeah, this... Um, this level is a lot more fun. If anything, I do sometimes like to play this to Wave Ocean, which is unlockable um, as a piece of music. Um, let's say from Sonic 06. But other than that, yeah. This also introduces to the wall jumping, which honestly may well be my favorite version of the wall jumping because it controls really well here. Yes, um, which. Um, yeah, can be a bit weird coming from something like Sonic Adventure 2. And yeah, uh, that didn't work too badly either, although Sonic will slip down after a while, so yeah. Which may be the case here, but I do feel I have a bit more control over the Blue Hedgehog here. There is also a segment coming up where we will have to uh, um, quick step. It's right here, actually, with the when those orca wheels come jumping over there. Yes, seriously, and that's done with the bumpers. If you go down to the water, however, um, you will die instantly. Seriously. No underwater section in this area for the for modern Sonic. There is one towards the end, but um, other than that, nah. Uh, so, indeed, boost, and um, then I want to wait until I get to one of these... Um, Things and then um, get a very nice um, thing there. Speak now. So let's go down here and you there fling your spear at me. Again, it is nice to see the egg uh, pawns with their spears from uh, not only um, um, Sonic Heroes, but also, uh, dare I say, it's. Um, I can't even speak. Uh, from Shadow the Hedgehog as well. So in this segment, well, we had the choice of either going to the um, segment with the turtles or with the car. And I chose the turtle, it seems. Also, well, be it. There was a whole segment in um, uh, Sonic Heroes with the turtles. Um, unlike in Sonic Heroes, however, the uh, platforms are a little, little bigger. I'm getting to. Um, account for the um, inclusion of the um, hedgehog engine and everything. So, yeah. And then we, um, here. And that being said, yeah, why not just boost? I yeah, could a huge amount of level there. Now, I want to be careful here. It's very easy to fall off, if you know what I mean. Seriously. Um, so, battle through the egg pawns, yes. However, looks like I'm stuck here, right? No, there is an area over there where we can jump down and another checkpoint. Well, almost. I'm almost a checkpoint. 
So yeah. Uh, can I jump up, please? Yeah, Sonic does not have the double jump from Sonic Colors, uh, which is weird because in the next game release, Sonic Lost World, he does. It's really weird. Um, so yeah. And finally, we're inside the temple, meaning we get the underwater section. It isn't as big as in um, Act 1, though. You can easily dodge it with uh, modern Sonic, so yeah. But it is there. Uh, so let's indeed boost through here. Why not jump up there? Um, I swear that thing fakes me out often. Uh, that Not the cannon, but the... Um, um, what was it now? No, never mind. Let's go through here then. And egg pawn down there. Okay, I skipped most of the water section. Yay, I guess. And then we can just boost along here and completely miss most of these um, things. So, yeah. Um, although we can easily get killed here and we get a bit of assistance from the um, orca whale. Which is weird. Does he want to kill us or help us? Make up your mind uh, there, Willy. Anyway, that being said, uh, S rank, surprisingly. But yeah. together more of what's happening and it's not good Whoa. when that thing goes through time it tears space apart leaving the areas empty and dead and sticking them in this weird white limbo when the sonics accelerate through time they fix space returning color and life Then I guess we have to run like there's no tomorrow, or there won't be a tomorrow. It takes a mighty foe to trap a ninja. Be on your guard, Sonic. <laughs>